Okay, so in this lecture series, we're going to examine some of the drugs that are used for the treatment of shock. We're going to start with the most obvious. So um, shock that results in dramatic blood loss uh, is a good place to start. So let's examine this group of drugs called antifibrinolytics. Um, or lysine derivatives. And there's two drugs in this class, aminocaproic acid and tranexamic acid. And so these drugs basically preserve clots. And so this is really useful in the context of rapid or dramatic blood loss. Okay, and so aminocaproic acid, um, also known as ANCAR, uh, is essentially a drug that inhibits the conversion of plasminogen to plasmin. And it's useful for surgery um, instances where there's dramatic blood loss, major bleeding, um, in emergency situations where there's been a, maybe a gunshot or a stabbing. And then the other drug in this category is tranexamic acid or TXA, uh, mechanistically very similar, binds to plasminogen, preventing its binding to fibrinogen. And uh, it's eight to 10 more times, eight to 10 times more potent than aminocaproic acid under in vitro assays. Um, this drug is relatively cheap, and uh, we use it for multi-organ failure um, as a result of hemorrhagic shock. And so this drug is quite commonly used in ambulances, uh, first aid, uh, military war zones, and so forth. And it was recently reported in the CRASH-2 trial in 2011 um, to be one of these really kind of um, very useful, uh, very clinically useful drugs to have on hand in case there's any type of um, disaster or or terrorist uh, type of event. <clears throat> so uh, plasmin really plays a central role in clots. And so here, this is kind of a, a nice diagram because the left side of the diagram here in green, it's Christmas time, right? So we got red and green. Um, the left side of the diagram here in green talks about specific diseases where we'd want to positively affect this plasminogen uh, plasmin cascade. So in the context of stroke, myocardial infarct, pulmonary embolism, deep vein thrombosis, uh, we want to activate or, or stimulate the conversion of plasminogen to plasmin, and this will assist in dissolving the clot. And so this is kind of where we were um, in other cases where patients had clots and we wanted to stop it or get rid of it. We're kind of on the flip side of that. So here we're looking at a patient uh, for this, for these cases, the patient is bleeding from a knife wound or a gunshot wound, and we want to inhibit the plasminogen cascade. So we're here on the on the right side here in red, and we want to use antifibrinolytics. And so plasmin goes into the fibrin cascade, which isn't shown here to make it simple. Um, but essentially, these drugs are antifibrinolytics, and when this cascade is inhibited, we preserve the clot. And so we induce or we induce clots. And that's kind of the treatment strategy for patients who are, you know, undergoing dramatic blood loss is we want to we want to produce clots and, and stop the bleeding. Okay. 